What is happening, y'all? Welcome back. So, the new thing, I was just looking at it, uh, this allows me to channel your mana to fire a projectile, or not. <laughs> Uh, this one. Channel your mana that will mark an enemy for increased damage. So, I'm not sure how long it lasts. If it lasts a while, though, that could be OP. So, we're going to try it out. I mean, I don't even know if I belong in this area. I have major, like, you don't belong here vibes. But, you know, we'll, we'll tower. Eat big towers. This one seems like it's pretty straightforward where I go, though. Finding so many bars. Hmm. If I'm just finding hunks of here to up there in that laying around, it's probably a pretty good sign I don't belong here. Not another one. Damn it. <laughs> oh, I just got through with one of these things and that was another one. Oh, bro. Well, you know what? I already know the pattern. It's I might as well fight it while these things are still fresh in my memory. If I can get some wraiths up, the wraiths will handle the ads. Just right here. Well, what if, I wonder if the rest of the saddles, the shadow sigil is after I beat this thing. Let's see what's below us. Caused a massive increase in the damage dude was taken. Magic greatsword? Hello? D plus? Oh. I mean, this is. bedroom. I don't use it, it just sits there. I'm gonna tear it down, convert it into like a soundproofed office space. Can't wait. So dope. Fantastic. Soundproofed area. This this might be the weapon I level up, even though it's slower because it's a great sword. I mean the you know the three versus the four is obviously a benefit. And the fact that it already has D plus scaling within my main stats. So, mm, hard to pass up.
Nice. Alright, so that... Shit, I'm one short. One short of, of being a big-ass upgrade. I get for that? Ashing Tails. Ashing Tails. I'm a part of the Beating Heart set. Ugh. Okay, let's get back to the water fountain. Figure out this. I mean, honestly, this area doesn't feel that bad. From what I've experienced so far, I could probably fight through this area. Because the ghost things... Those things I could kill in one time. And the elite thing for the area is a weaker version of one I've already taken out. I should go back to the blacksmith. I'm just gonna pain in the ass with a booty with that kid. I mean, it's not that far. Uh, let's just, it needs to be done. Let's just do it. Well, hang on though. So you were 10, 20, and then to 10, 20, 30. So I can get the 10 to 20 on you and put you and have a one-to-one -one comparison. Let's see which is hitting harder. I mean, more than likely I'm gonna want to use the magic great sword for the simple fact that it only requires three. Which only requiring three means it's gonna be easier for me to pull off my magic. So I can three to plug my my thing. And then I'll just keep the rapier as a backup tool. And then, I don't know, we could either do this or the Verdant Zone, probably. They're, they seem pretty comparable. Oh, you know what? I'm absolutely gonna wanna keep both, because one of these is primarily piercing damage, while the other one's slashing damage. That dude was the perfect example of why. He took almost no damage from slashing. Piercing tore him up. Actually, use that ability. I'd mostly be using it for that. Or just a regular swing. Which I probably wouldn't be using the swings at all. Completely honest, I'm using this thing because it scales with magic. And it's a. Uh, Slaughter. I 
It's like the one thing that it's, it's, I don't know. If this was something like Hollow Knight or any other Metroidvania that had been out for a while, you know, I could just look up weapons and be like, oh, great, I see that there's a, you know, a, a magic spear that I'll get halfway through the game. I'll hold off and I'll, you know, focus on upgrading that. But all I can do, I mean, there's, there's literally no info out on this game. Like, it just came out. So it's like, the best I can do is just use my judgment for what is the upgrades that I should be getting. It would take a whopping 30. Oh, up to 210. Yeah, 210 and C plus, that's big. It's up to 337 and B. I mean, this looks like it's supposed to be the Moonlight Greatsword of this game. It's gonna be hard for, for that to be. This is a 270 right now. This would be 250, 260 if I combined them. And then it would get up to... Well, I'm calculator, I'm just curious. The 336 when it upgrades compared to 337. So they actually get pretty comparable. But that's also with 19 compared to 10. I have a lot of scaling in the other weapon at the moment. I mean, that's like my stat, but. Let's see, one point, that's four damage. Let me get that to 20. That seems like a good stopping point for that. Because my region is, is very comfortable where it's at now. And then I'll start working on pumping my both my MP up as well as my health from here. I'll just slowly get both of them up. Change my helmet. Oh no, I didn't see my chest. It's because it was covered by the sword. Dur -dur -dur. All right, let's go back to Laser Land where I got my magic sword. Though you know what, I did need to get the spire key to go there. See, that's that's the thing that's killing me. I wish I remembered where I got the spire key from. Because if I remembered that. I could be like, oh, I had to, you know, did I get that after beating Guy? Because if so, you know, I'd rather do the other areas first, but... It's the fact that the light groove just leads you straight over to this area. Is there a locked door at the bottom of it? Do you see a lock? No, okay, it's just a little side nub. Yep, away we go on our journey. I mean, once we clear this area out, there's undoubtedly going to be a... Uh... So we get a pinch of MP, a bunch of health, pinch of MP and a bunch of health. Um, I lose out on stamina, but otherwise this seems like it's pretty much just good in almost every case. I mean, more MP. This one, I lose out on some defense, but I think that's offset by the MP, the regular defense, as well as the health I'm getting. This, I lose out on a little bit, but defense. It's probably worth using. I mean, this looks like the... 
Especially the fact that there's no roll weights on this. Speccraft looks like it's supposed to be the, uh, you know, the mage-like caster. Work with this. Feet are weird. It's like I don't have feet, it's just legs. Robo legs run and fast. Those lasers, they can't stop me. So that area is done, so we just go through and we start going up. Now if I start finding like tons of enemies that are just whooping my ass, I'll I'll bug out and go to the grass zone instead. Solomon flakes. I need to get up to 30. Best part of waking now. Solomon flakes to upgrade your great sword. Guys are pretty annoying. When I land, I want to see if I can. Not land on those. The enemies here feel weak, like really weak though. So, I mean, if I go by my own metric of enter a new zone, see the difficulty of the enemies, this area for sure is where I should be. Because these dudes, are, why am I not dead? These dudes are getting just shot. Solemn bars. I just need nine specs and then I'm looking at upgrade town. I do kind of like that for that. It's really interesting, because, like, thematically, this, this area has a, like, you don't belong here type vibe to it. But we are just beating the shit out of stuff. Uh, right here. How much do I need? 9,000? Might as well, I mean. Right here, there's no point carrying around all that extra. Four damage. Four damage. Let me get my health up. Let me let me get health up to like 15 or so. Because I'm seeing really high gains on health at the moment. And since this seemingly has a uh, 
Souls-like system, I'm gonna assume there's soft caps and hard caps, so let's uh, let's just focus health until we hit what feels like a soft cap. Because damage right now is good. I'm not worried about like, oh, how am I gonna kill this? I mean, I, I killed challenge guy, and he was clearly outclassing me. I was probably supposed to fight him like 20 levels from now. So if I can kill him, I'm not worried about killing stuff. Hey buddy, listen, I'm not here for you. I'm busy I'm trying to get up to the bosses. Nice finish, you big magical bitch. That spike thing is super good. Like it looked, I'd have to go back and like check the footage to verify, but I'm almost positive we were doubling the damage being done. I think I have enough to level up. Right on. Back up we go. I need to find a... What? What? The dagger. Why is it mage's tool? It's not mage's at all. It doesn't even scale with magic. Lied to. I need something like him where I can just hit the health bar and watch. Okay, buddy. Oh, okay. Stop this. I'm gonna, I'm not gonna get much farther, but we'll, I we might be able to hit a shortcut or something. So those guys consistently, consistently take four blasts. So um, if I can go spike blast and a half.
the hell? Really, bro? Test it. So, after the spike, two hits were almost enough to kill. So, the spike, I think, does minimal damage itself but it probably does like 100% damage amplification to the target. Which makes it... Uh, I mean... Do I want that over the laser though? Because the laser is more situation. I mean, clearly the spike is what you want for boss fights. The laser is probably what I want anytime I'm not in a boss fight. shortcuts here. I should probably go back if I'm at 17,000, but considering I also just got a shortcut, I don't exactly feel at risk of losing anything. Yeah, the spike's only going to be worth it on, uh, on boss type stuff though. Just based on what I'm seeing here, you take, it, it just takes too much to like, cause that's a long downtime before I can swap back to it. him under that uh yeah so the rapier is nice for just general progression boss fights it's now clear i need i need to use the great sword just because having three dots to trigger my special versus four dots that's i mean it's speed 
it's the speed that I'm getting up my ultimate. And the faster ultimate means more nuke, more booms, more shields, more whatever I'm using. But that's, you know, I have to use it. Having this just to pop annoying things that are... Actually, the rotation here that might make the most sense is one, two, three. And then after I've popped it, I swap over and I hit them with the, uh, the damage amp. Go boom, 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 and then swap for the damage amp. get off the rates. It's just... I don't know. I like the rates, but at the same time, I don't. I think especially given the play style that I have here, where I'm like, you know... And I shouldn't say glass cannon, because I actually have pretty respectable defense for a caster. I just noticed the time we're at. Um... You know, we're, we're, there's there's probably plenty more to this area. I mean, after this guy, I still have, like, whatever the boss is. So let's wrap up. We'll wrap things here. We'll continue with the atrium, make our way to the atrium boss in the next part. Knock out Mr. Magic Man. So stay tuned, and I'll catch you all with more in a bit.